praise the Lord saints. Good day and welcome to my channel. I'm Minister Jared and I greet you in no other name but the supreme name of Jesus. As you listen in, I pray 1 Chronicles 16, 11 over you. It says, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Jesus in St. Luke 21, 26 said, these are the days when men's heart are failing because of fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. We are facing struggles. So many are in distress and so many are feeling like they're in at their wit's end. And so our struggles take on different forms in different time different situations with different people and so in the psalms of in in psalms 42 verse 5 the psalmist said why are you cast down O my soul and why are you disquieted within me hope in god for i shall yet praise him for the help of my countenance when we look at the word words cast down we can associate it with being in despair being bowed down sinking under the weight of sorrow it could also mean being depressed being sad and discouraged it could also mean you're troubled agitated upset it means you're anxious in mind and confused and which means also that you're mourning and giving out long sound of complaint. You're complaining about your situation constantly. And so disquieted also means being disturbed. Other translations said it could also mean disturbed. The psalmist asks the question. He asks the soul, why are you cast down? And why are you disquieted? Let us take a better, a better understanding and, and look about the soul. Let's look at the soul. Within the soul lies our will. It speaks of what you need, your want, your desire. Those are things you want, you need, and you desire to do. Within our soul lies our intellect, your ability to think. We are capable of to reason and we're capable to understand within our soul lies our emotion and our emotion is expressing our countenance how we feel in our facial expression so when it seems like we have lost command and we have lost control we can't think we can't reason, we can't do the things we want to do, and we get upset. We tend to feel defeated. A sense of powerlessness and a sense of disappointment comes over us. But your soul and my soul has no reason for such feelings when we have given God control over our lives to give us comfort and to give us peace in every situation let us comfort ourselves in God let us find comfort in God let's declare Psalms 4, 34 verse 2 over our lives my soul shall make its boast in the Lord let's declare Psalms 35 verse 3 Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let's declare Psalm 62 verse 1. Truly my soul finds rest in God. And this is a place we want to be. We want to find rest in God. When we are fighting and the battle seems to go on and on, we want to get to that place in God. There is a story in the Bible where one of the disciples, Jesus' disciple, leaned on Jesus. And what is so awesome about this story is that God never at one time rebuked that disciple. 
He did not say to his disciples, you're weighing me down. He did not say, get off me. He did not say, go find another shoulder to lean on. I want us and I want you to see yourself like that disciple who was in his comfort zone with Jesus. He had such comfort that he was leaning on the bosom of Jesus. Can you imagine seeing yourself in such comfort, in such security, peace, protection under the mighty hand of God? God wants us to be in that place, may not physically, but spiritually with him, within him, a place of comfort. God wants to welcome us. He wants to embrace us. God wants to answer your curious questions. He is willing to dress our wounds and heal us. And most of all, God wants to satisfy the long, the longing soul. Let us today find that place in God because God wants to embrace us. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. The scripture also said, Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it comes the issues of life. Hallelujah to Jesus. We want to guard our hearts today. And we want to find the peace of God. So let us be encouraged. Let us lift up the hands that hang low and the feeble knees. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you today. Our God and our Savior, our Deliverer, our Redeemer. Father, your word said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Come unto me, all who are weary and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. In Hebrews 4, verse 3, your word declare, For we who do believe, do enter that rest. Father, there is a place in you that is to be found, a place of rest a place of tranquility, a place to recline. Paul in Philippians 4 verse 14 said, I press toward the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ. Father, we want to go deeper in prayer, closer in our relationship and our affection to you. Father, we want to be rooted and grounded that we are not easily shaken, but that our anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Take us, oh God, to that place of your kingdom principles. Take us, oh God, and help us to understand the power of the cross that we may say like Peter, like Paul, that I may know you and the power of your resurrection. Help us to lift our head that the King of glory may come in. Father God, there are so many that are feeling like they're in turmoil. They feel so stressed out. They're feeling so down and so low and so confused. They feel, oh God, that they have lost control, Father God. They feel like they have lost command, oh Father God. But Father God, we have surrendered our lives to you and we have given you control of our lives. And we say, Father God, have your own way in our lives today. Father, we want to surrender everything to you. We want to give you, oh God, our troubles, our despair, our discouragement, our worries and our, our confusion. Father God, we're saying, God, we don't want our mind to be not at peace with you. Father God, we don't want to lend our minds to worries. 
We don't want to give our minds, oh God, to anxiety. We don't want to give our minds to um, depression. We don't want to be troubled and agitated and upset and depressed and discouraged. God, we don't want to be sinking under the weight of sorrow. Oh, great God, deliver us today as we bring our situation to you. As we bring our complaints to you, oh God. We're asking you, God Almighty, to rescue us, save us, deliver us, bring us healing, oh God. Bring us comfort and bring us your peace, almighty God. Father, let your will be done in our lives. Let us understand and know, God, that we are your people, the sheep of your pastor. Oh God Almighty, that we enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. That we should be thankful unto you and bless your name. For the Lord is good. For we serve a mighty God that said, He daily load us up with benefits. Jesus, we bless you today for your benefits. We say, God Almighty, rescue someone today. Rescue someone, oh God, that is feeling down and out. Feeling as if they cannot take another step. That feeling, oh God, that their back is against the wall. That feeling, oh God, that Lord Jesus, how can I get out? Oh God Almighty, embrace them with your strong embrace. Embrace them with your power. Embrace them, oh God, with your anointing. Father God, I pray that you will rescue them. Come alongside them, oh God. Father, let them hope in you, Jesus. Let their hearts, oh God, turn and look to you for your word declare, oh God. As the deer panted for the water brook, so panted my soul after you. Let there be a switch. Let there be a change, O God, in their heart. Turn the direction of their heart to turn to heaven. To look to the hills from where comes their help. For their help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Father, we thank you that we serve a mighty God, a mighty God, the mighty God of Daniel, the mighty God that is mighty in our battles. You have never lost a battle. Oh, God Almighty, the battle is yours and we surrender it all to you, Jesus. Father, we said today, have your own way. Lift us up, oh God, out of despair and out of discouragement and let your will be done in our lives. Let your will be done. Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So Father God, we give you the praise and the glory in Jesus' mighty name. This is Minister Durrett saying to you that you should get connected and stay connected with God.